Hello and welcome again. In the previous video, we talked about uh, the rel fan cipher or the zigzag cipher. And so if you remember the last computation we did was the uh, uh, include here the cipher text, uh, the encryption of uh, some message there. Now, the purpose now of this video is to uh, know how to decrypt the message uh, if you get the cipher text. And of course, you have to know you have to know the key for this. So so let's say this is the example. So we have the uh, decrypt the mess, the cipher text, this cipher text, which is exactly the one we had from the previous video that was encrypted using the Rolfen cipher, using, of course, the key of three. Now, this process is the process that Bob will do. So once he receives the message, this uh, cipher text here, he will have to decrypt the message, of course, using the key uh, that they agree on. So Alice and Bob agree on the key of three. So let's see, this is the process that Bob is gonna make. So what's the process that uh, Bob makes? So Bob is gonna make a table again, and it's gonna have, the table is gonna have rows and columns. How many rows? The number of rows uh, of that table will be exactly the, no, the key that you have. So the key here will be three. So that will be number of rows. And the number of columns will be the number of letters in the cipher text. He knows how many letters are there, of course, because he received the cipher text. The number of letters in the cipher text is exactly the same as the number of letters in the plain text. The number of letters doesn't change in this case. So he knows that he has to construct a table that has three rows and 15 columns. All right, so let's see that. So I already uh, made my table here that has uh, three rows. And of course, it has 15 columns again, same as before. And remember, he knows that because he knows the key and he knows the length of the ciphertext, how long it is. Now, what Bob has to know to decrypt the message is he has to know how was the process of encryption. Now, the process of encryption, because this is a real fan cipher, a zigzag cipher, the way the cipher is written down or the, the uh, plain text is in a zigzag way. So it goes like this in a zigzag, right? No, so what, so what Bob has to do is he has to know what are the positions where the plain text will be in this uh, table. So I'm gonna mark down the places where the plain text should be. And he knows that because they of course agree on the six uh, a cipher. So the places where the text will be, will be here. I'm, I'm losing the, the purple color there. This place, this place that the six sack. And then I go up, up, and then down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. So that's, that will be the places where the text will be. So of course, that was the process of encryption, right? So you put the letters like this in zigzag, and the encryption is written the the letters in rows. So what has he has to do now? Now he knows because he knows the position here. Uh, in this first row, he knows that in that row there are one, two, three, four letters that are from the cipher text. So what letters are those? Uh, these are the ones here. M, M, T, and A. Those four letters will go in the first row. And he knows that, remember, because he knows the position of the letters. So he can count there and see how many letters he has to put in the first row. So M, M, T, A is what I have to put in the first row. So let me do that. So it is going to be M, M, T, and A. So we place the first row there. Now the second row, because of course he knows the position, he has to count how many he has in the second row to figure out how many letters he has to put in there. So how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have to put seven letters that come after the letter A. So let's do that. So let's count seven from the letter A. So from the letter A I have here, I already placed M, M, T, A. So I have to place E, T, E, T. Let me do those four first. So E, T, E, T. Easy to remember. So it's going to be E, T, E, T. So E, T, E, T. What follows after that? It has to be three letters, right? One, two, three, another three. So after the E, T, E, T, I have to place three letters. So it's going to be H, P, R. 
so that's the one that I'm gonna place there HPR HPR and finally I have to place the letters in the last row so for the letters in the last row I go to the cipher text what follows after the letter R this letter R right here so then the letter R is this one right here this is the letter R so what letters come after that E A E K so E A E K I'm gonna place that in there E A E K so this is the process that Bob is doing so now that he finds out what the positions are he puts the letters and of course but he because he knows we are using a zigzag cipher the only thing that he has to do to to get back the plain text is just read in zigzag of course there's something missing here and there is this the empty um, the blank spaces are missing but of course if you write this down it won't be difficult to know where to put the blank spaces so if we have here let's write down actually the plain text so what will be the plain text plain plain text let me erase that so plain text so it will be the plain text so i just read it from here uh, meet that seems like the first word so let's do that meet then what follows after that meet me at the park right so you have to read carefully this right if you want you can go ahead and place this in, in a string of characters and actually tell what is where the blank spaces will be it's not very hard so if you just look at the pattern there what this is then you will finally see what this plain text will be so meet me that's over here meet me at the park at the and see this is the way that Bob is gonna decrypt the messages uh, of course Bob will have to include the blank spaces between the words again that's not very difficult to do you can do this actually with the blank spaces uh, you can for example make a table that instead of having 15 symbols you count the blank spaces as symbols as well in this case we'll have one two three four four blank spaces so in total you will have 19 because we have 19 letters at 15 letters plus four blank spaces so that that way you have to make a table that is a little bit longer so a little bit more columns but we don't have to do that because we can figure out exactly what the blank spaces will be so this is the process of decryption for the uh, zigzag cipher or the royal fence cipher uh, so in the next video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain why it is important that the key is less than the number of characters in the plain text so I'll see you in the next uh, video